I'm a 3D artist, and in this video, I made the most stupid and over-engineered Minecraft weapons I could think of, and even showed them to a real mod developer to get his reaction. For my first model, I started by making this book design based on the enchantment table. My idea for this one is a randomized summoning book, so it can spawn anything from a piece of dirt to a nuclear bomb. It's anyone's guess. I wasn't quite sure what design I would actually use. Oh wait, Genshin sponsored this. I can just steal their designs today. Anyways, I started carving out more details from the back, made sure it can close correctly, and it's looking pretty promising. For colors, I went with this blue and beige scheme, as well as these cool glowing parts. Yeah, it looks all right. I should be done in like five minutes. Do I go with blue or admiral? The original reference is one of these spell books called a catalyst. Compared to that, this is uh, way worse, actually. Hey, look, I never claimed to be a 3D artist, all right? Next, I made this page flipping animation for whenever you use it. Maybe it flips to a different page based on the summon. We could do a silverfish, an iron golem, a... My sanity is slipping, that's a good sign. I'm thinking the biggest one is this laser portal. It would call down from the sky and just obliterate everything. Oh, hey, Daniel, what are you doing with that book 10 feet away from my house? For my next model, I started making the hilt of a sword, which I then built into this tuning fork type shape. It's a work in progress, okay? My idea for this one is a sword that can shoot a laser beam, but the beam gets more powerful the longer you charge it. You could be sitting there for 10 minutes charging it and it will vaporize the basalt biome. Good, by the way, I hate that place. Ooh, what if it animates from the sword to the laser like it splits in half that would be cool for now i ended up switching to this blade shape it's gonna change i don't even know what to call this to be honest but right now i gotta focus on the texture now genshin impact asked me to make four weapons for them one for each nation they have released this place leeway has this big mining chasm with crystals and everything so the texturing here is going to be stuff you find underground like stone deep slate and mr beast clones after he did that one video i like to be optimistic but this design is just the worst so i started looking into better sword types like this sword whip combo from ancient India called the Urmi. You can't make this up. That's a flaccid sword. There's also this gauntlet sword called the Pata that goes on your hand. This is why I can't get anything done, isn't it? I went through like three more until I settled on this one with the laser edge and gave it a purple grip to compliment. Come on, it's better than this, all right? I'm assuming this could still be used as a sword, so I still need it to look decent. And finally, after some texturing and a step or two closer to Carpal Tunnel, I made this cool morphing animation with a glowing cube in the middle and all these particles that start gravitating towards it while you're charging it up. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun with this. I will eviscerate the chicken population until there's nothing left. For my next model, I start by building out a minigun shape with the barrel clamps, a handle, everything you'd expect to be there. I mean, I guess it looks normal, but that's not really a good sign here. If you've ever used crossbows in Minecraft, you probably know they can shoot fireworks, even if they've been customized already to different colors or shapes. But my idea is a firework minigun that launches like 200 fireworks per minute and melts your CPU at the same time. This one's for the Inazuma region of Genshin. In the lore, they do this firework festival so you can trespass on government property. I'm not explaining this very well. It's hard to make this with anything but basic colors. I was initially thinking lots of gold, maybe these firework patterns on the barrels, but it's just too loud, so I had to go back to the drawing board. I get the main attraction would be the chaos of a billion fireworks going off, but I can't leave it like this. I tried everything, okay? Wood, stone, that's not even Minecraft anymore. You know what? I'm too lazy for this. I'm getting the wheel. Okay, we got blue concrete, grass, glass, redstone. Hold on, that could actually work. Okay, I'm doing a red stone theme now. So a piston for the back, a chest instead of a drum, a lever up here. The possibilities are endless. Okay, maybe not completely endless. I started adding back a bunch of red and gold, like these barrel clamps, which have cool patterns on them now, and this fabric texture I added here and there. Something as overpowered as this should probably be harder to obtain than, I don't know, a name tag. So it's good to have expensive parts like this. There's also something about the non-exposed barrels that really cleans it up, in my opinion. I started sketching out the idea for my next model, which is roughly the shape of a glorified tree branch. My idea for this one is a tree launcher. It uses up saplings and bone meal to launch a full-size tree wherever the player is looking. What could possibly go wrong with this? I got the basic colors down, including this rope area, which could act as a grip. It looks all right, but I decided to go with another rope and a lantern. Wow. Maybe it changes colors or something. This staff is based on the Sumeru region from Genshin. It's a place with a lot of trees and nature. Surely this counts, right? Ignore the desert. Anyways, the texturing only took a few minutes this time since I remembered I can just take existing textures and paint them on. Look how easy that is. But this isn't gonna cut it. So to fix it, I added these little planes all over the place. Minecraft uses planes instead of cubes a lot for smaller details like the warden horns or the frog's feet. I would know a lot about those. But in this case, I use the planes as little branches. It makes it look less boring if you ask me. Anyways, with that, I had checked off all four regions and it was finally time for the mod developer to judge my work. Will he be impressed? 
impressed or will he be disappointed in me? Probably a mix of both. But real quickly before that, Genshin Impact just dropped their 3.7 update. It's an open world RPG for those of you who touch grass. <laughs> In this update alone, there's a new character, weapon, quest, like five events, which is a lot considering they've done this every six weeks for the last three years. If you want to give it a try, head to the link in the description. Hey, Skylar, you ready to review more weapons? Daniel, it's only been three times Daniel, now. please release my family. Oh, uh, the stream went down. I really like the model. It's simple. It's a book. It doesn't need to be anything more complicated. It definitely feels like something that a spellcaster would have. The page flipping animation, very nice to look at. It's very smooth. I can imagine that being a fun way to get kicked off of your friend's server. I mean, obviously the mod needs some work. I think maybe I would want some way to control what spell or at least influence it maybe. I'm gonna have to rate this book seven out of 10. It's not because it's bad. It's just, it's a book. How much can you really do with a book like how do you what does a 10 out of 10 book even look like Ooh, dude that is a slick animation oh and the blazer's flat too well first of all curved blades are way cooler than regular blades so that's automatically getting points i am a huge star wars fan they laser sword and i am 100 percent in i don't there's nothing. I don't dislike anything about this. I like it at all. I like all of it, rather. Model and animation, I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. The total package, the mod and everything, I would have to say probably an eight out of 10. I see. <laughs> what does it look like in third person? Wow. I was not expecting this. Okay, so some things I like. First of all, it looks perfect for Minecraft. The little chest on the side, the fact that it's all made of things in the game, it just fits. I could definitely see myself putting this on a server. Points of improvement. Um, Minecraft doesn't really have 45 degree angles, but pretty difficult to do a rotating barrel without doing 45 degree angles. Hmm. Man, I'm really grasping for straws. I guess maybe if I could change one thing on this, I would change the wood color, maybe. That's really it, that's all I've got. Out of one to 10, I'm gonna give this one a seven and a half because it definitely has some room for improvement, but it is still very, very impressive. Okay, so I think it fits Minecraft super well. We were talking a little bit about that with the minigun. Like, I mean, it looks like it belongs in Bedrock. That's the only note I have. <laughs> I couldn't really come up with anything else. It follows the rules. I mean, it is a branch with a lantern on it. I don't hate it. It's not blowing me away, but it doesn't offend me in any way. I think for that reason, I'm gonna have to give this one a seven and a half out of 10. Well, thank you for your time. Is there anything that you wanna shout out? I have a game that I'm working on that's on Steam now. You can wishlist it. We have a beta that you can sign up for. With that, I had arguably impressed the mod developer once again, but this isn't over until it's tens every single time. Shout out to the mod devs. Love you all. I'm getting to bed nice and early this time.